All right, guys, welcome back, and um, let's get ready to rumble. Whee! Let's get ready to rumble. Yeah, like, rumble? Bowels. Question mark. Literal bowels are rumbling right yeah. now. Yeah. <laughs> um, uh, let me just say, people, I have seen every single Royal Rumble match. I have. So is he. So is he. So everybody's seen every single Royal Rumble match. I, for one, can say, I, I think I'm speaking for everybody here when I say that this Rumble match on Sunday was the worst Rumble match I've ever seen in my entire life. This one, 2014 and 1999, were the worst ones for me. No, this is worse than 99. <laughs> Shit! This is worse than 99. No, it is. 99 was good, come on. Yeah. I thought it was terrible. This is better yeah, than 99. I, I, or, no, the or worse than 99. Um... I want to talk about the worst one when Alberto Del Rio won it. Oh, the... F oh. The 40 man. Seriously, WWE, ever since other than Edge winning in 2010, every fucking rumor winner. I mean, Alberto Del Rio should have won that. Chris Jericho should have won instead of fucking Sheamus. Yep. And then yep. uh, you have... Uh, no, Jericho should have won instead of Cena. In 2013. Yeah, it, was to, it was down to Jericho and Sheamus, wasn't it? No, 2013. Yeah, I've seen a fucking one. Yeah, but I eliminated right, bitch. The silver, the roided silverback gorilla. Last year, it should have been CM Punk. Oh, fuck, yeah, it should have. This year, it should have been one of three guys. Ziggler. Mm -hmm. Ambrose. Or Daniel Bryan. They're giving us a fourth one. Uh, Cesaro? Bray Wyatt. Bray Wyatt. That's right, Bray Wyatt. My... He was booked awesome. In he, he was booked like a freaking monster in this match. About goddamn fucking time, too. Yeah. Um, so, the Royal Rumble started out. The Miz was number one. The Miz was number one. He was number one. Number one. Number one. Number two. Number one. Number two was our truth. Yeah, Jobber. What do you do? Was it every two minutes or 90 seconds? This, it says... 90 seconds. 90 seconds. It was 90 yeah, seconds. I think I think I um, so yeah, R-Truth and Miz start out. Then, entrant number three. I was really looking forward to this. Because I heard rumors about this. And when it came to fruition... Coming down. 3D. Bubba Ray Dudley made his return to the I, WWE. I don't but, but one question, one question. Okay. Where was Devon? Where was Devon? I don't know, honestly. Instead, you just have him in there and he teams up with our truth and they both do the 3D and the what's up thing. Get the tables. Where was the tables? Yeah, where was the damn table? You gotta keep it clean because it's PG bullshit. I think Devon had Ridiculous. to had to go to church that day. <laughs> oh, testify. oh, testify! Oh my brother! <laughs> oh. So he eliminates um, both Miz and our truth. Yep, he does. And out comes entry number four, who happens to be Luke Harper. And uh, Luke Harper, and they they brawl for about ninety seconds, and then. Follow the buzzards. Bray Wyatt comes out and the fireflies and everything. Well, Rumble, I'm here. That's right. Then, um, I, and then Bully Ray, or excuse me, Bubbery oh, Dudley and uh, Bray Wyatt go. Or <laughs> shit. Oh, Steve's got his lantern. World in my hands. <laughs> That's what Cena says when he's cuffing Vince McMahon's balls. So Harper and uh, Wyatt eliminate Bully Ray, or Bubba Ray Dudley, unfortunately. Between Bray, Ryan, Bubba Ray. That was pretty epic. But not only that, the crowd was chanting ECW, weren't they? Yeah, they were chanting ECW. And yeah. he, was the only, was he was the only ECW original to make an appearance in this match, which is yeah, stupid. Exactly. Been this, um, then we get to entrant number six, who was supposed to be Curtis Axel, but instead it's... Uh, Eric Rowan, the sheep guy, who attacks him from behind. Uh, Lenny Smalls from Mice and Men. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, he comes out, they get a, do a whole, like, 
Wyatt family stare down. They um, first like they're gonna go after Bray Wyatt. It looks like mm-hmm. Rowan and Harper, but then they turn on each other and then they go at it. Wyatt eliminates both of his um, former compadres. And he's by himself. Out comes entrant number seven, and it's I'm the Boogeyman, and I'm coming to get ya. <laughs> the Boogeyman made his return. Um, him and his him and, no worms. No worms. No worms. No freaking pyro after the clock you gotta, smash. Because you gotta keep it clean. Gotta keep it clean, which is bullcrap. Eater of worlds yeah. versus eater of worms. Only lasted 47 seconds, gets eliminated. Out comes next, Sin Cara. <laughs> Mr. Botchamania, another jobber. What the fuck? <laughs> Mr. Botchamania, another jobber. Um, he lasts in like 30, 37 seconds. 37 seconds. Number nine happens to be Woo Woo Woo, you know it, Long Island I see Zack Ryder, another jobber. Woo Woo Woo, you don't know it. You don't know it anymore. Got eliminated. He only lasted 34 seconds. 34 seconds. <laughs> you don't know it. I think it was at this point where he was on his knees singing. He's got the whole world in his okay. hand. There's okay. When Bray Wyatt got the mic and he says, "I'm o- I'm giving an open invitation." I thought the Undertaker was going to come out. I thought so too. Yeah. I thought he was coming out. I thought so too, it, honestly. It seemed, it seemed predictable to be Daniel Bryan. Well, then, then entrant number ten happened to be. Yes, yes, yeah. yes. The, the fucking f- roof came off that... Wall. The roof came off of that freaking place. This yes. building has exploded! Yeah. It, what, it did explode. And we'll get to hit him and uh, his little oh. incident that happened in a little bit. Um, him and Bray Wyatt go at it. And then Fandango comes out. As number 11. Number 12 was Tyson Kidd. <laughs> his elimination was great. The backdrop over the rope. Onto the floor. Oh, Poor Tyson kid. Stay um, in, in NXT, please. You're so much better there. Then, he come, then out comes Stardust. That star. Yeah, Dust. The golden the showers time. and they're fucked up flowers. <laughs> yeah, coming out. He was purple. Like he, was a goddamn cat. <laughs> he was a Baltimore Raven. He was purple. He was purple. <laughs> But he's in the Eagle Country. He should be wearing green. Um, should wait for Gary because this one he was um pretty excited about. Yeah. Oh man, I was really, really excited about this one. Uh, at entrance, at uh, uh, screw him. He's not here. At entrance number fourteen. Screw, screw, I, I screw. It was D D P. No, it's me. It's me. It's, it's D D P. Hey, I'm Diamond cutters out of nowhere. Diamond cutter up to down. Who's the pussy? Thank you, thank you, ready to rumble. <laughs> God, we suck ass. Di- that, that did. Diamond cutters out of nowhere. You know what? When I saw that, I was hoping that Randy Orton would come out next. Yes, I was. I was too. Dear WWE, it isn't nuclear physics to book the Royal Rumble. Your booking is like Michael Pole Greaser. It writes a nasty, dirty fucking dildo. The end. The end. Instead of Randy Orton, which was what a lot of us were hoping for, we, we all wanted to see RKO yeah. versus the Diamond Cutter fa- yeah, face-off. Been... Unfortunately, out comes Rusev. Rusev Montlia. Rusev Machka. Six eliminations and he lasted over 35 minutes. Yeah. Still an idiot. He eliminated. And he eliminated. Uh, 2.0. <laughs> and he eliminated uh, Diamond Dallas Page, believe it or not. Him and Anna. Same with uh, Fandango. With his trust, with the Rusev's trust sidekick, Anna. Oh, man. Yeah. That's right. Um, now comes the unfortunate situation. Oh, my God. Um, uh, Wyatt and Rusev attack Daniel Bryan. Tries to go over the ring. Um, he, you know, he goes over the ring, lands on the apron, dodges um, Rusev's thing, and Bray Wyatt eliminates Daniel Bryan. He hits the fucking rope, and the rope ricochets Daniel Bryan off the apron onto the floor. You want to talk about a lazy-ass elimination? 
What? Eli, a way to kill minutes. the way to kill the momentum. And the crowd's reaction just gave it away. And just yep. Set a good example. Gave it away. It gave it away that Roman Reigns was going to win. Gave it a good example. It took a tsunami lava shit all over this. All over this match, and rightfully so. He got an unceremonious exit, and it's absolute bullcrap. Big boob Dude, was hit. You know what? Just <laughs> taking kayfabe all away. Daniel Bryan walked out. He was. Yes. He was. He did look like he was of pissed. Of course. And he was. He got the loudest reaction out of anyone. He's the most over fucking guy in the company. Most over guy. You go anywhere, anywhere from India or Japan or anywhere in the cross the United States. He's the most over yeah. guy in the company. Oh, folks, you don't want to know why Daniel Bryan is so over, and this is why. Why is that? He is. He's not manufactured by the WWE. He comes off as a real, legitimate person you would go and have a beer with at a bar or some shit. That is why. Because not only mm -hmm. is he a, like a, a, a cool, humble guy, he's a real fighter. He yeah. trains MMA right. as well. He can kick the shit out of me. <laughs> he can kick the shit out of any, mostly, most of the guys in the back. Yeah, he could. And he comes off as an ordinary guy. A lot of people who can relate to. I think, um... That's why he's over with the crowd. That's why people like me and many other people in this panel here love him. It's because he's a cool, humble dude. And he's... He better. And he deserves much better. I think, uh... I was watching Bruce, Bruce Blitz's review, and I think Mad Genius said this. The fact that Daniel Bryan was eliminated this way was an absolute slap in the face to all of his fans yeah. and everyone in the crowd watching. Yep. Bull crap. And Mad Genius said this, the way to change the company, quit buying their shit. <laughs> yeah, with the whole canceled WWE Network thing. Yeah. And it's, it, I don't, I haven't checked Twitter dude. today. Okay, dude, okay. I think I told you. I haven't I'm checked Twitter today. I think it's still trending. Oh my God, hold on. Let me, where is this? I have to read this to you guys because when this I first still read this, I thought it was like the funniest thing. Um... Give me a second here. I'm trying to find this shit. Huh! It is! It's still okay, trending! Listen. Okay, folks. Listen to this. Ready? <laughs> Some fans took to social media to display their displeasure to Brian's elimination. Shortly after the event, hashtag Cancel WWE Network became the biggest Twitter trend in the world. World. Well, and also, the WWE's network online cancellation page was failing to load and that some subscribers who called the WWE to cancel the subscriptions were told to be uh, be told to be called back and be placed on hold and they weren't able to cancel because too many people attempted to manually cancel the description. The fucking website crashed! It crashed! It's crashed! Their website crashed when people were like, pissed man, off. Dumb old fuck! You're old, stupid, and out of touch! You don't learn! He needs hearing aids. Hearing aids? Yeah, he needs to tell Roman Reigns and John, John Cena to get their cock out of his ears. <laughs> I think it's like 270,000 people that unsubscribe. <laughs> that's like... Yeah. That's like 35% of their... <laughs> yeah, and they... And the, yet, they say, Oh, we got a million! We just reached a million! Oh, a million my ass! Then when the six months... When the six months subscription was over... 250,000 unsubscribed! Joe and was one of them. 700 to 750,000 before the end of the year. And then they'll make profit. They had to break at least a million. And they lost how many? Two, uh, 270,000 apparently. Oh apparently. Yeah. Apparently. Yeah. I'm going to keep this on hold because we're close to the 15 minute mark. So let's save this for part two. Yeah, that's a good idea. So, um,. Coming up next, hopefully we'll finish this up. <laughs> yeah, hopefully. Hopefully. Question we mark. Got, we still got to say who was in the rumble. Yeah, exactly. So we'll stay tuned and, uh, yeah, we'll get to the second half of the rumble.